In this video I'm going to show you how to add your domain to Cloudflare. I use Cloudflare to mainly manage my DNS so it's very easy for me to manage the DNS for one domain or multiple domains. But you can also use it as your main CDN so you can deliver your images and your static content even faster and you can use it for some of its protection features. Now I'm going to be using only the free account but there are also paid options. So first I'm going to go into my domain host. Now this process is similar for whichever domain registrar you, you're using. So GoDaddy, name silo, but in this example I'm going to be using Porkbun. So I'm going to blur some of the uh, the uh, the domains here. The main thing you want to be looking for is the authoritative name servers or in most cases we just say name servers. So first let me add the domain to Cloudflare and get the process going. So in this example it's frtest.xyz Just a domain I bought for testing. Okay, so you can choose the twenty dollars a month pro plan, pro plan, business plan, or enterprise. But we're going to go for the free plan at the bottom here. So click on the free plan and click continue. Now it's going to go off and check the existing DNS records. So if your domain's been freshly registered, it may not show. Uh, I'm going to delete all of these because I don't need. I don't need any of them. We'll start from scratch, I'll do delete. So this is the current setup from the uh, registrar. Um, I'll delete this delete later, do continue. So now it's picked up the current name servers as these pork by name servers, but we need to change it to these ones here. It's johnny.ns.cloudflare.com and nina.ns.cloudflare.com. So we'll click to copy the first one, go to the host, Domain host, and we have to edit the name servers. Delete what's here. Control V to paste it. And then copy the second one. Go back to Porkbun and paste these ones. Now click submit. Now, I'm, uh, depending on the domain registrar, it can take anywhere from minutes to hours up to 48 hours. In most cases, it's a matter of minutes. But what you can do, you can go to a site called DNS checker and put in the uh, the domain so my domain was frtest.xyz oops can't type dot xyz and you want to change this one to ns for name servers and do search so you can see it's still on the pork bun name servers. So this might take uh, half an hour or so. So I'll pause the video here and I'll let it update and I'll show you. Just click down here. Um, so I just do apply recommendations. Okay, and then check names over. So it's coming, it says um, it's checking it. It'll take a little while so I'll leave it here and I'll come back to it. Okay it's taking a bit longer than expected to get this uh, updated but I'll just show you inside the uh, Cloudflare control panel how I use it. So basically what I normally do is if I'm using a VPS or shared hosting or whatever um, I manage the DNS form within Cloudflare because it's just so much easier. So you click on add so if I want to add it to, add it to a new VPS I set a record Choose at for the root and enter the address. So, for example, 192.168.1.1. It's not a real IP, but just in case, leave it unproxied. I mean, just for test, I mean, and click save. Okay. Uh, okay. So now, um, uh, if I have a VPS at this IP, the uh, FR test XYZ domain will point straight to that one. You can also add the same for www. So the way I do that is go to uh, C name. Well, I think A name is okay as well, but C name, www. I choose at, send it to the root. And normally for C name, you don't proxy it. Again, there's there's a load of ways to use these options, but this is the way that I use it. 
and then for the MX records um, I delete these existing ones these are just from the uh, registrar and then you would follow what your what your email provider settings are so G Suite has its own details and so on you go to add record you choose uh, MX where is it? MX. So you enter the 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 name you've given and the emails you've given, and then you also set the priority, so ten or whatever. And then you click save. And if you're adding a separate CD, and I use BunnyNet, so BunnyNet you need a C name. So you go to C name, and I put in normally my C name that I set in BunnyNet, which is CDN, and then the target is the BunnyNet uh, URL, and then you unproxy it, and that will work with the uh, BunnyNet CDN and yeah I'll cover some other details in another video but you can also they've got a beta for email access and you can go to caching go to workers rules and so on there's a lot to add in here but that's the basics of Cloudflare how to add your domain and I'll see you in the next one thanks bye